Welcome to the Senior View. Yes, it's not snowing, and here we are at the Senior Center. And we want to introduce you to a wonderful group that has been here for a long time. I believe it was one of the original uh, programs, um, you know, that took over when we came down here about six or seven years ago now. Um, you know, the Senior Center used to be up at the Town Hall. Well, here we are. You know our new place here. And um, I'd like to introduce to you um, Jean um, Bertstrom. And she's our, uh, a teacher and instructor mm -hmm. and in quilting. Okay, so we're going to learn about quilting today. Where do they get their ideas? And, and then coming together, how do they work together as a team? I know they were responsible for the wonderful library um, quilt that you all did. Um, uh, I saw it. Yeah. It's beautiful. Yes. yes. Yeah, that wasn't actually this group, but it was another group of, of quilters in town. But um, but we all mm. sort of overlap. Um, I see. But this has been a great, this is a beautiful room that we have here. And the mm -hmm. Senior Center is nice enough to let us store all of our stuff. And okay. so it's been great. I think we have... 20, 25 people that come, um, and probably a core group of about 16 or 18 that are here every week. It's a little bit light attendance today just because the weather's been so bad, but our other teachers are Joan Dwyer, who's lurking back here, and Kelsey Ullman, who's down there ripping ripping some things out. Sometimes we have to unsew. Um, and Lima Whitty, who conveniently just left the room because she doesn't like to be on the camera. And Lorraine Warren, who is... Um, living at the Cape now, so she didn't make it up today, but normally she's here as well. So I think we have a couple of quilts out that you can look at. This is one that, Wonderful. that Joan just finished. Um, and this is a top that Susan is working on. So she, you can see she's adding the borders now. Yeah. Um, is the camera on? Yes. This is one that Joan made for her niece, niece. I think, yes. right? And um, mm. I actually haven't even seen it. I love the colors. It's beautiful. So both of them are so beautiful. I, I was really dumbfounded when my sister-in-law told me the colors of her bedroom. And I said, purple, lavender, and green. But what I picked out, I think, worked out well. Yeah, it's beautiful. How do you, do you sit and think it out before you do your design? Does it just come to you? This I happen to have a pattern for. Like this one is going to be this. But um, the first quilt I ever made was Grandmother's Flower Garden. Oh. Yes. And um, I took uh, lessons at the high school with Mrs. DeChamps, who is from South Carolina. Oh. Okay. So uh, I ended up teaching the course a mm -hmm. couple of years later. Mm hmm and uh, enjoyed it very much. But uh, we did more traditional, you know, uh, the Ohio Star and uh, Trip Around I the World mm -hmm. and different ones like that, which I've done for my yeah, house. Plus uh, the Nine Patch, which it really is a good beginner one. Mm -hmm. It really mm -hmm. is. Um, you know, it's such a wonderful way to um, show family history you know, to give a quilt to a grandchild and have it to go down the line. And, and um, you know, I have these lovely old photos of great, great, great aunts, you know, and, and, um, and I just look at them and say, wow, you know, so long ago, a hundred years, you know? Well, and if I'd had the time and I didn't have any arthritis, I would have hand quilted this mm -hmm. because I'm a traditionalist and that's how I learned. And so I hand Do people do hand quilts anymore? Yes. Yes, and that's, well, that's one good. Of the reason I, I'm here is yes. because I can teach them how to do it. Wonderful, wonderful, and, uh, John. Yeah, I have. I can't tell you how many baby quilts I made. Oh, I can't imagine. And I mm. can't probably tell you how many quilts I have in my house. I, I have at least two for each bedroom. Yeah. At least two. I call them my summer and winter quilts. Oh, beautiful, yeah. beautiful, and um. How do you care for a quilt? I mean, by washing it, by sending it to the cleaners? No, I wash it in the washer and dry it in the dryer. So it's all cotton? For the most part. For the or, most part. Or, um, what's the other? Flannels, sometimes no, no. we'll use. Um, or... It's not really the cotton. Sometimes we use a polyester bag. Polyester. Thank yeah. you. Polyester. Yeah, you're welcome. It takes a village. <laughs> it takes sometimes. a village is right. Um, yeah. But your design is just so beautiful. 
Now, who is this for? This is for my niece. For your niece. Yeah. Mm. How nice. And now, did you make this one too? No, no. this is Susan. 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 Is Susan is here? here? No, nope. I think she stepped out as well. But this is something mm -hmm. she's been working on for a while. So these units are called flying geese. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't know, is this going in her kitchen? It's for her son. It's for, for her, her son. son. OK, yeah. So she's just adding the borders now. So she's close to being ready to quilt this one. Um, and uh, yeah, this has been something she's been working on for quite a while. Yeah, and if you want to. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, yeah, I've heard that you people are very generous. Have you done quilts like for we, we've purposes? Done, yeah, we've yeah. done a lot of charity group charity quilts since we've. I think we started in two thousand and seven. Does that sound right? Um, we've done a lot of charity quilts. We've done quilts for veterans. We've done quilts for the Serenity House. Um, we've done pillowcases for kit for yeah for children. I feel like we've done more than that um, and it's just not coming to mind. In addition, the ladies ha for several years had a booth at Poly Arts and have also yeah. often had a booth at the holiday sale at the Senior Center and um, have raised a lot of money that way and made donations to charitable groups. Mm -hmm. But they've also put on um, programs for the whole and invited the entire Senior Center to some trunk shows and yeah. some interesting things like that. We took a field trip to the uh, Museum of Fine Arts to see a quilt exhibit. Yes. Was that Last year, yes, I think. Yes. Um, yes. Yeah. yeah, so we've, you know, so it's friendship and it's it's really it's a such common a great cause group of, of women. coming together. And, um, a lot are from Hopkinton, but a lot of them. And we once a month we all stay late and have lunch together and have fun. Last month we talked about a book. We had a little book club. Uh, we all read the same book and discussed that. And so it's it's really it's a lovely group of ladies. A very busy group of ladies. They get a lot done. Mm -hmm. And um, it's it's just we have people who Van who's not here today started quilting when she was 90 and she's now oh, 96. So that's and quite an inspiration. Counts. And she's the one that we turn over all of our hand embroidery to because she's very Meticulous. Oh. Half the time she doesn't even wear her glasses. Yeah, yeah. No, she's she's so incredible. At 96 Very years old. Yep. Yeah. My we word. Have this fabulous group of women. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we've made so many friends. We really have. That's marvelous. That's yeah. marvelous. So hopefully more people will come and join us. Right. And um, now I see this coming together. Now this is this yours? No, this is Pam's. This is a, I call it a strip quilt, I think it's called string quilts, and you just take, I've got a lot of flannel left over, so I took all my flannel, just cut it in strips, I see. and then put it together, <clears throat> and when I get it done, it will be uh, beautiful colors. It will be a baby quilt. A baby quilt. <clears throat> How many baby quilts have you made, Pam? Oh, I've made a lot. Yes. Yes. I've, yeah, I've made a lot. Look at all these. Oh, they're so pretty. So pretty. Very pretty. Now, how long will it take you to put this together? Oh, doing the strips. Mm -hmm. The strips take. It takes a while because you you lay out you lay out like one, mm -hmm. and you lay out the other one and the other one. And you have to sew it. So I do like five or six at a time. And then I can go over the, the ironing board and iron it up, and then you start on the next strip. So it takes it takes a while to get it mm -hmm. together, plus a lot of thread. Oh, I can't imagine <laughs> how much thread you, you people yeah. use. Wow. A lot of thread. Yeah. Now this won't be hand sewn, right? No. No. no I'm gonna, I'll put them. I'll put them kind of. However, mm -hmm. they're going to go. I'll mm -hmm. lay them out. Mm -hmm. And. Uh, see how they're going to go and then just sew them together. Very nice. Clear. And what are you working on? I am helping out. I'm one of the teachers. Yeah, one of the teachers. Probably the newest one to the group. Okay. Kelsey, is it? Yes. Kelsey. Yes. Okay. So I just kind of... But I love this really color green. It. Isn't that beautiful? Beautiful. Mm -hmm. So this is going to be is put Leo's together. Belt. It's going to look like that. Okay. Let me see if I can... This is what hers is going to look like. That beautiful green. I love green. Very spring-like. Yes. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It's a beautiful color Sometimes. from nature. Very good. Very good. Well, it sounds like you girls have a wonderful time yes, together and, and, um, and very creative.
very creative. Okay, is there anything else that you'd like to show us? Um, I see people on the other side of the room, I don't know. People are just arriving. Typically, most of the time people work on their own projects. Sometimes we do a group project, but so, so I'm not quite sure what they're going to pull out today. Um, and we're just usually here to help them cut or um, solve a problem or run, you know, whatever little tips they need. So, uh, so yeah, I don't really know what everybody's going to pull out yet today. Okay. Really well, thank you very much. Oh, thank you for, thank you for sharing. And happy sewing. Happy sewing. She just came last week, but this is the cover she's going to make. Oh, so pretty. Hand quilted. Hand quilted. Hand quilted. Oh, okay. okay. And if you can't see, there's a heart in each of the corners and just a line across. But if you want, you can also turn it over and see what she did on the back. Lovely. Just lovely. Isn't now, it? who made this now? <laughs> okay, that's all right. That's okay. Andrea. 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 Okay, Andrea, this is beautiful. So, it was my first attempt at hand quilting. So, I know it's not perfect. It's good, though. It's good. It's beautiful. I told my daughter, and she will be so critical. <laughs> no, oh. You did a beautiful job, Andrea, really. Have you been making quilts for a while? <laughs> she helped. Yes. Have you been making quilts for a while? I've been trying to self-teach myself for a while, so this is good. This is a lot of help here. Great. Great. Appreciate it. Okay. Take those out. Okay. Because you're going to start further down. Okay. Okay. And Put the binding on today. Isn't it yeah. wonderful you have this wonderful instruction in here? It is. That's it's for great sure. In here. Yeah. Yes, it is. You don't start. At yes, the it is. Marsha, what are you working on? So start my spools. Okay. And then leave some because you're going to have to bind them together. Okay. Okay. She's doing walking with the spool pattern. Beautiful. Thank you. It's going to go like this. Oh, I see. Now, is this going to be hand sewn? I'm going to hand quilt it on the edges. Hand quilt it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay. Have you been doing this for a long time? No. <laughs> I bet you really enjoy it. I did it. it like 30 years ago. 30 years ago. 30 years ago. So you're coming back to it, it sounds like. <laughs> Wonderful. Wonderful. That is great. Well, thank you, Marcia, you so much. Well, we thought it would be nice we would take a little stroll. You met the quilting group, and here we are in the pool room. And along with the pool room, we have a wonderful library here, and anybody is just welcome to come in, take a book, and, and just bring it back when you're finished. Nobody's going to be watching how long you keep it or whatever. And, um, but we have a fabulous group of faithful men and women who come here every day and, um, and play pool. So we thought, okay, let's see her hit it. Can I take that back? Yeah. Mm -hmm. She's going to do it over again. Just because it's me or is that legal? Oh, oh great. And here's Roy. Oh, Lucky. Now, how many people come in and play? I know every day there's a different group here almost, or... Usually eight or ten. Eight yeah. or ten. I know the snow is keeping people away right now. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I gotta get down on back, I guess. Five days a week. <laughs> Five days a week. And anybody is welcome, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, let's take a stroll. We'll go further down the corridor here. Thank you very much. Okay, want to do the computer? Okay. I'm getting out of here. Okay. Okay. 
And here we are in the computer room. I want you to know, they even have people here to help you. If you need an appointment and you want to learn how to do the computer, or if there's a certain um, way you want to learn how to do something, they will show you, okay? So you're welcome to come in and make an appointment or just come in. This is open till 2 o'clock mostly. And um, so please come and just be part of the group. Okay, they're all concentrating. And the password is senior center. All right, well, I'll be home in a while. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> hello, hello. Do you want to show the gift shop, you think? You know? Okay. Hi, Martha. How are you? Good, good, good. Um, okay, Phyllis, do you mind if we just um, do a little taping in here? Of course not. Okay. All right. Okay. And here we are now in the gift shop. And um, they call it a thrift shop. I, I don't like that word. I, I think gift shop. I mean, the most beautiful things come in here. And um, you are most welcome to come in here anytime you wish. And we'll take a little stroll. And how are you, Martha, today? I'm fine, thank you. How are you? Good. Okay. So Kelsey's just going to go right around and show you. And here is Phyllis, who was filling in today. Hello. And how long have you been here, Phyllis, as a volunteer? Five years. Five years. Very good. Five years. Front desk here. Mm -hmm. And I take many of the programs. I love it. Don't forget the linen room. Oh, yes. <laughs> we have another room, too. We call this our linen room. <laughs> We have scarves and oh, tablecloths, pillows, beautiful pillows. For three dollars, I want you to know the prices here are one, two, three, and five, basically speaking. Everything you see here, okay, and you would not believe how beautiful the items are. I mean, to walk into a big department store, you would pay triple. Believe you me. And here we are out in the corridor again, and um, more books, okay? Um, we do sell some books, paperback books, 25 cents, hardcover books, 50 cents, and wonderful puzzles. Um, they're 25 cents each, and when you're through, you just bring them back in, and um, they go so fast, because so many people love doing puzzles, especially on days like this, in a winter like this, I should say. I'd love to give you an example. This is a beautiful, beautiful painting for $10. Where else are you going to find something as beautiful as this? I love his eyes, beautiful eyes, um, this young boy. And um, this will go fast, I'm sure. And it's just, uh, it's just so thought-provoking. And you just look at it, and you, you wonder who he is and where he is. and, and um, and the, and the artist, you know, what kind of artist uh, did a beautiful job like this, you know, and because um, the eyes are just so beautiful, I think. And right along this way, too, look at this, $4, $3. Beautiful framed artwork, beautiful. Beautiful. And look at this, what somebody made. Talk about quilting. Look at this. You put a photo right in here, see? And um, it's called Friends. Somebody made that special. Four dollars. Where else are you going to find something like that? 
I can't imagine if you walked into a specialty store how much it would cost. Look at that beautiful frame in the beautiful flower. Eight dollars. Just beautiful. And look at this, this beautiful piece of artwork for five dollars. Flowers, a little kitten in a chair, a vase of flowers, petals on the table. How beautiful, how beautiful. I want you to know because of the snow, we didn't have any of the knitters come today. I really wanted to show you the knitting group. We have one person here, Carol, and um, you're very faithful to come today, Carol. <laughs> but Carol is sitting by the fireplace. Maybe Kelsey can get a nice shot of the fireplace. Okay. There's about 15 women who come here and knit every Thursday morning, and you are welcome to come. Indeed, you are. And you are welcome to come up here anytime. Get yourself a cup of coffee. Just come and sit and relax. It's home away from home. And you are most welcome. And this is Mary Jo, our receptionist today, volunteer work. And you must enjoy so much seeing the activities here and the people coming and going. I know today is a snow day. and. Um, well, it's still busy, you know, we still have a lot to do, even though it's a snow day. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Because people like to come here, you know, when it's uh, bad weather outside. Yes. Get out. It's home away from home. Yes. yes, it is indeed. Beautiful. Beautiful. All, so many exercise programs and, and all kinds of theater work at times and poetry reading and, oh, it's just beautiful. So let's go into the great room. Hi, Steve. How's it going? Good. How are you? Good. Yes, today it's empty in here, but I wanted to bring you in here um, and just show you the tremendous, beautiful, great room. This is where they have their dinners, special lunches. Um, we have exercise programs. If you would like the newsletter, I believe anybody over 60, 60 and up, you know, you do get the um, a newsletter, okay? And, um, and we do take people under 60 too at this space. So you can always call because the programs, I mean, are just wonderful. We have meditation, exercise, qigong. We have, um, you know, just regular strength wellness programs in here for lifting and walking and um, it's just beautiful and it's it's lovely and it's meant for everybody and I have one more special place I want to show you the greenhouse okay this is the greenhouse okay. and you can see how filled up it is because it's winter time and what they're doing is because the heat went off um, they have a lot of special work today to do on certain plants but but look at how beautiful they are. How many, you've been working in here for a long time, haven't you? I work outside most of the time. Most of the, the time. Gardens outside. Uh huh. But Very we good. Kind of twist his arm to help us. Oh, okay, <laughs> okay. This is lovely. Look at the beautiful geraniums, Kelsey. Oh, I love geraniums. Those are, a lot of those are people's plants, too, that they have us store over the winter for them. Like if they're gone on vacation or something? Or they just don't even have the sunlight in their house to keep them. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we'll keep them in here, and then they'll, we'll take cuttings, and then we'll give them back to them so they have their own plants back again. The key is we take cuttings. Almost all of this stuff here is from cuttings. Oh, beautiful, beautiful just beautiful. Okay. Well, I hope you have enjoyed your little tour of the Senior Center. And you are most welcome to come up. You can always just make a phone call. Um, they have a fabulous team here who works here every day to keep this place going. 
and we're just so fortunate to have this safe, warm, loving place here in Hopkinton for you. So join us. And thank you for watching, and you have a good night. I'm Matt DeWolf. And I'm Mitch Lee. One of the most powerful influences on our individual health is our own behavior, the lifestyle choices we make that affect our well-being. The decisions we make about tobacco and alcohol, the foods we eat, and whether we exercise or remain sedentary determine how healthy we will be today and in the future. How and what we eat, in particular, plays a critical role in our health. A healthy diet can reduce the incidence of preventable illnesses, such as diabetes and heart disease, conditions that burden millions of patients and lead to ever-increasing costs to our healthcare system. This emphasis on healthy eating has now moved into the community with an innovative program that we started in Worcester, Mass. This program is called Woo Food after the city of Worcester, and it focuses on restaurants and the important role they can play in the health of their customers. This program can work in your community as well, and we invite you to join the effort. For more information, visit WooFood.org. HCAM TV showing movies? That's right. Dive and Drive is a new show on HCAM. Join Mike and I as we present some B movies. Movies that have piqued the two Mike's interest. And not to mention, they're also free. We'll give you some interesting tidbits about the cast and crews. And point out some of the reasons these are classic B films. So check out the HCAM TV website at HCAM.TV for movie days and showtimes. According to estimates, over one billion people live in appalling levels of poverty. Denied even basic standards of food, water. Nearly half of the world's population earns less than... I believe in the spirit. I believe in trust. Beauty. I believe in my mom. Strawberry ice cream. Fortune cookies. Chocolate. I believe in the tooth fairy. Being honest with yourself. I believe in Santa Claus. Aliens, of course. I believe what I want to believe. I believe in myself. I believe in myself. I believe in peace.